Schlag mit! Friday and I don't have to work today thank goodness I am so relieved <laughs> uh, <clears throat> the only thing I have to do is monitor email for students that are enrolled in my class and there's only 10 of them so they should be good oh my goodness I was so tired last night I I just had a few nights in a row where I probably averaged about Six, five to six hours like one night was definitely about five um yeah you probably saw in my in the vlogs in the morning it was quite dark and it was partly because of seasonal changes like it gets darker this time of year but also partly because I was waking up so early um yeah I was so tired last night I did not finish posting the video I set the computer to process and since it was a little long I knew it was going to be a while and I just couldn't stay up um, and I had a great night's sleep I didn't wake up till 8 this morning I usually get up at 6 30 or 7 it was really nice to sleep in uh, and I and I got up twice in the night but at both times I went right back to sleep which probably just because of less anxiety it's funny how that works <laughs> uh, alrighty so I oh the stocking so I put I finished knitting the stocking and I put it on to wet block I wet it to block so it's damp right now um I messed up a bit on this so don't judge my pattern by the the shape of your stocking if you follow the pattern will come out a little bit nicer than this I think the foot is a little over large and the reason is because when I knit the heel flap I knit a couple extra rows without intending to so that just elongated this whole area um, and then yeah so if this actually so if you look at it if it to me I mean you're probably not even who cares right it's a stocking it's not something that we're trying to wear um, and it's really pretty the yarn is beautiful and it matches my sweater um, 
yeah, but it would just, this section right here would be a little bit shorter, and then the foot overall would be a little bit shorter. Probably by about an inch, I'd say. But, whatever. Extra room for goodies for her, because I'm sure she will have lots of goodies in the years to come. Um... Yeah, I'm really happy with it. I did also make another mistake in the pattern. This snowflake right here, I put extra stitches on either side of this line. So, yeah, it should look like that. It's more symmetrical. Yeah. Whatevs. I have to embellish it still, so it's gonna. I'm going to let it dry for a little while. I might put it under a heat vent to get it there faster because I really want to just uh, have this. I want to prep the drop-off box for my son and daughter-in-law and uh, this is part of it so I just want this to get there so I can get everything ready and then whenever they're ready to for me to come I can come I can go yeah so I'm gonna put this somewhere warm and then I'm gonna embellish it but I so this morning I'm having one of those moments where like I like my usual Sundays where it's like I have nothing scheduled but I have so many things to do <laughs> All right, so I've decided that I'm going to prioritize wrapping presents. So I'm going to try to, I'm just going to see how far I get. I'm not going to make myself do it all because that will be not fun. I'm um, just going to wrap as I want. So that is what I'm going to do this morning. I'll see how far I get. Any presents I get wrapped will go downstairs. Uh, I also, um, yeah, other than that, I'm going to, I want to, get to work on the rest of the owls for the little suite of owls I want to give my granddaughter and uh, just other little things I need a pedicure so I got to do that I don't think I'm gonna do that today I might try that tomorrow um, well we'll see um, but definitely before Christmas I've got to do it um, and they really don't take long the um, the hardest part is getting the polish off so because I use gel nail polish. I do, I give myself gel pedicures. Um, so getting, soaking the polish off is, is sometimes difficult though. It's been on my toes for probably six weeks. So, which is why I do gel because I only have to do it once every six weeks. I'll, I'll, I'll show you if I do it, I'll show you, I'll show you how I do it. It's it, I, with very little investment in, of equipment. I was able to figure out how to give myself a pedicure, a gel pedicure. And I don't think I'll ever go to a nail salon again. <laughs> I don't really like being touched by strangers. So, um, yeah. I don't mind giving them to myself. And I've built quite a collection of polishes. Oh, I forgot to show you, too, before I get going. I got some yarn yesterday. I had ordered it. Um, I had a gift certificate for Stitch Together Studio. I actually have two. Um, so I spent one of them on this yarn, on this beautiful yarn. I love it. So it looks like hand spun, doesn't it? Um, yeah, I think it's pretty special. I, I It must have just... Be, uh, I don't know if you know uh, Kayana's situation, the dyer of Stitch Together, but she, um, she has a family. She's got children that are um, high school age and, and younger. And she... She lives in Iowa that got devastated by a natural disaster in August. So I have a feeling that maybe uh, there was a launch intended for this that just didn't happen. And she just put it in the shop for people to buy. So um, I have, I bought sweaters quantity. So they're, this is fingering weight. They're all about 400 yards. Um, and for me, 400, th uh, 400 yards, three is a sweaters quantity. So that's, this, they arrived yesterday. Yeah, so the <clears throat> the yarn is spun in a local mill, a mill local to her, which I didn't realize that there was a mill out that way. Um, oh, she says a mill in Illinois, and she lives in Iowa, so it's not that local. Not not that local. Sorry, scratch the local part. <clears throat> it's made out of U.S. targi, so wool from sheep, um, from targi sheep in the U.S. I don't know where. It just says U.S. targi, and it is, um, it has also bamboo and silk. So it's a bamboo, 80% tar targi, 10% bamboo, and 10% tuss of silk. Uh, and I think what happens is she dyes the fiber and then sends it to them to mill because I think that's the only way you'd get 
this is definitely dyed in the wool. Um, that's the only way you'd get these uh, beautiful, you know, arrangement of color. This is one of her regular colorways called Dweeb. And the you can see the name of the yarn too. It's called Tar Tar Targeeling Twist. There's another one. She has two. I think that are made by the same mill. Maybe the other one's heavier. I don't remember, but you can check out her shop if you are interested in it. It wasn't, I found it very affordable. Um, I don't remember the cost off the top of my head, but I want to say it was around, it wasn't any more than regular indie dyed. I want to say it was a little less. I want to say it was around 22 or 24, something like that, a skein. Um, so yeah, wanted to share that with you before. I run off. I will also be sharing these in my regular episode at the end of the year. They're really pretty. I didn't expect them to be so purpley. I should have looked, uh, but that's fine. I'm totally fine with it. They're just beautiful. Okay, I'm going to get going. I will see you later. A quick advent update. So this is the cashmere treats all at once in what I think is good light. Um, and there's the inspiration card. Uh, so uh, how do we do? Like pretty good, right? I did expect a bright yellow, but it, the yellow that she concluded is uh, gold. Um, about halfway through this advent, I started to think that there was going to be a corresponding speckle yarn for each solid color. So she was doing, looks like it was a solid color or tonal color and then speckle, tonal, speckle each day. So this is in day order. And um, except for the last two, which are both speckled. But basically there is a speckled yarn that coordinates with almost every color. There's no speckled gold um, and there's no tonal plum which I expected at some point. So, um, but yeah, anyway, they're beautiful. I am going to think about what I want to make with them and uh, yeah, I'll keep you posted. Also, <laughs> Stitch Together Studio, definitely a rainbow. That's probably why I bought it because you know how I love my rainbows, <laughs> especially rainbow mini sets. Um, yeah, this, I did not remember buying this. I think I've said that earlier, but I did not remember buying it until I was looking at my orders. Um, and I saw the charge on my account, <laughs> but beautiful. Can't wait to open the rest. away um, on uh, the gifts for my son and daughter-in-law and this is their box the only thing that's missing is the baby stocking um, so I'm just waiting for her for that to dry I'll finish it up and uh, stuff it and then it'll get tucked in there somewhere um, but yeah, I found this, uh, this is packing paper, this lovely green shade, which is just perfect for the gifts from Santa. Uh, I, I'm going to watch out for this in packages all year and save it because it's just so perfect because we like, especially when there are little kids around, there aren't any little kids now, but there will be next year. Um, it's fun to have a slightly different paper that comes from Santa. Um, and then I don't have stockings for them, so they're just getting these brown bags for my son and his wife, my daughter-in-law. Um, and then they can do whatever they like with them if they want to pretend these are stockings or if they have stockings. And yeah, and there's presents packed in there. I packed the bag pretty tightly. Um, and hopefully uh, the baby stocking will, <laughs> will fit in there somewhere, <laughs> maybe in this spot here. There's also a little bag in there for the cat, a little bag of... Um, 
goodies for their kitty. Yeah, that's what I've been up to. I'm gonna finish wrapping more presents. I'm on a roll here and I have maybe like a half hour before lunch. So that's what I've been up to. Beauty. 